Hi YouTubers, this is Craig Bigrig here with a very, very important political announcement. Now, I wanted to kind of avoid politics altogether when it came to my page, but no one's really going to let me do that because unfortunately when it comes to firearms, it's political. I would love to say that, you know, you could vote for a Democrat and they're going to vote pro-gun no matter what, but the truth is if they come from a liberally based state, they're going to go against your wishes. People said that Barack Hussein Obama wasn't going to take away our guns. They said that every rural area in America would be safe. Well, today I think he just made a breakthrough. A few years back, we were coaxed into believing that he wasn't really all that bad of a guy, you know, maybe he had a few misguided views about firearms, but that's not true. It hasn't changed. Whether it's a 10 round magazine or a 30 round magazine, an AK-47 or an AR-15, he wants them taken away from you. Now a lot of you say, well he hasn't done that yet, well, I got one phrase for you. Fast and furious. There's an operation done by the feds to attempt to make an assault weapons ban stick to the American public by showing how many of our guns quote unquote just walked off the borders and into the Mexican cartel's hands. Well, I hate to tell you, but they lied to you. They luckily had a few ATF whistleblowers on this that just didn't feel right about it. They told the government and the ATF didn't like it one bit. The fact is they threw hundreds of thousands of guns across the border without any tracking whatsoever. It was stupid and quite frankly you can't trust the government anymore. I was willing to let that pass However, Obama today unfortunately made a very, very bad comment against the Second Amendment with the unfortunate incidents in Colorado. He says, and I quote, I believe the Second Amendment guarantees an individual right to bear arms, but I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that the AK-47 belongs in the hands of a soldier, not on the streets of our cities." End quote. Now, the main issue I have with this is the fact that the Colorado shooter wasn't using an AK-47, he was using an AR-15. Now, how he got the weapons, how he got the money for it, it's not clear right now, and quite frankly, that's just hearsay. The problem is, he is intentionally blaming a firearm for a mental issue in our country. And I'm not just talking about the sick, psychotic people. I'm talking about the people that are in charge. You have to stop blaming inanimate objects for crime. A very dangerous man will do whatever it takes to cause chaos and violence. Now I have for you today an AK-100 series sporting rifle. It is not an AK-47 like Barack Hussein Obama claims. It is a semi-automatic sporting rifle that the ATF has approved for importation. That means that this is for sportsmen. Uh, I'm not sure what Barack Obama thinks a sportsman is. Maybe it's some Elmer Fudd looking guy with a bold action rifle that only holds one round. but this is today's firearm. It can either use a 10 round, 30 round, 40 round, or even I think there's a 100 round drum or is it 75? I'm pretty sure it's 75. The magazines don't matter, alright? 
this round, this magazine only holds five rounds. That means that if you're in states that are lucky enough to use it, a semi-automatic rifle as a hunting rifle, you can use this for deer. You can use this for hog. This is a completely capable rifle. Uh, in the 30 round configuration, it, w it works as an excellent self-defense tool. There's nothing demonizing about a weapon system. Now, there's a, a lot of other issues that I have with mainstream media in the news. Assault weapon. An weapon is anything that's used to obtain an objective. A weapon has nothing to do with killing people. Now, a gun is a weapon. It can be used to secure an objective. Assault is an action. A book can therefore be an assault weapon if you hit someone hard enough with it. We have to stop letting the mainstream media walk all over us with these phrasings. Another issue is they get thrown around the words assault rifle. An assault rifle is a select fire weapon. It has been heavily, heavily restricted since 1934 with the National Firearms Act. That means that unless you have a $200 tax stamp, you cannot own a fully automatic rifle. You, ever since, I do believe it's May of 1986, you cannot convert a semi-automatic to a fully auto legally. And the ATF has taken great strides to make sure that these rifles can't be modified easily. And by easily, they mean obviously swapping a few parts out to full auto. Now, back in the early 90s, they had the North Hollywood shootout. These guys converted semi-automatic weapons to fully automatic. And again, nothing that we could do and any law we could pass that would stop these psychotics from rampaging the streets. Now, the only thing that saved them was a sporting goods store that was selling AR-15s. That's right, a civilian gun stopped a criminal. The cops had to acquire these weapons for the safety of the populace. That's because LAPD didn't believe it was smart to have a carbine in their cars. Instead, they used shotguns and pistols. But that's another subject for another time. This rifle is not designated AK-47. This is designated an Arsenal SLR 107FR. That stands for self-loading rifle. There's nothing fully automatic about it. When you pull the trigger, the trigger has to reset every single time before it'll go off. There's nothing illegal about this weapon. In fact, if it makes you feel better, you can put the little five round magazine in and then everyone can sing Kumbaya. I don't really care. The only difference between this weapon and in a band state compliant firearm is the fact that it will have a fixed stock. This device right here, also known as a compensator, is welded permanently to the barrel and they ground down the bayonet mount. whoop de doo Didn't change a single thing about the firearm's uh, primary way of working. Now, what I can't get is why these politicians, who supposedly know so much more than us, can't even get straight terminology right. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's fear-mongering, all right? Barack Obama is using what I like to call gun racism, all right? Just because it's black and scary, that means that we can ban them, all right? Barack Obama should know a little bit different. Now, another issue that I want to come up with against is the horrible tragedy of the uh, Colorado massacre. There's a big problem with this entire situation, everyone's looking at it wrong. They're looking at firearms. They aren't looking at 
the psychology issue. If you look back at every one of these mass shootings over the years, it's always been someone who's been, you know, a loner or they've had a, a series of issues with mental health and that's not getting flagged in our system. Now, why suddenly blame it on an inanimate object when it's the human criteria that's the problem? If, for example, I stop talking to people altogether. I don't go out of my house. Generally speaking, my friends are going to be concerned and they're going to call someone, all right? And don't give me this crap, you know, this guy had no friends, all right? He had professors that were worried about him. He had colleagues in class that were worried about him. No one decided to call the cops or uh, some type of mental health institute about him. And before you start pointing fingers and go, well, you know, you, you don't know the situation. Yeah, I do know the situation. It happens over and over again. You need to start looking out for these types of people. The other issue is the fact that it's a HIPAA violation to tell health records, mental health records, especially. Well, how can you get flagged for filling out a firearm form to purchase when you're not allowed to say anything. Now, there's been some laws that they wanted to pass about people with post-traumatic stress uh, syndrome, that they aren't safe, that they can't be trusted with firearms. Well, I hate to tell you, but that makes uh, a, quite a majority of veterans out there, which means that you're cutting people down that, unfortunately, paid a very large price in their mental health protecting your rights and the other issue is the fact that people don't want to admit that there's a crisis going on in this country when it comes to mental health doctors just want to throw prescriptions at everything and it really makes me sick you know oh you have high cholesterol well instead of working out we'll give you a pill uh, the obesity epidemic, epidemic. People are fat. Well, you know what? Get away from the video games a little bit. Look at me. I'm 6'4". I'm 320 pounds. I'm a hefty boy, all right? That doesn't stop me from going hiking, doesn't stop me from lifting weights, doesn't stop me from enjoying everything that I love to do outdoors. Do I play video games? Yeah, I enjoy them every once in a while, but Maybe it's my personality type that I can't just sit at a table and play a computer game all day. The other issue that I have is the whole problem with concealed carry. Now, a lot of people said, well, you know, it's too dangerous to take a shot at a man in a movie theater when all these people are running around. To a certain extent, I wholeheartedly agree. You should never, ever take a shot when you are not clear of people, foreground or background. But there were no cops, there were no sheriff's deputies, not a single concealed carry permit holder, and yet this guy just happened to walk out of the movie theater and give up. No, the, this guy was trying to send a message. and. If we aren't listening close enough, this stuff will happen more and more and our rights will be taken away. You have to go to the voting polls this November. You have to vote pro-gun. I don't care if you don't like that it's a Republican, alright? You're just going to have to deal with it. And I'm not saying that all Republicans vote for, you know, pro-gun. There's a lot of them out there that don't. In fact, quite frankly, I'm not really a fan of Mitt Romney. I think he's a lot better of a option than the jackass we have right now. But did he vote pro-gun 100% of the time? Hell no. He helped sign legislation in for the assault weapon ban in his state. However, he's our best option right now. And if you don't vote pro-gun, this election, you might have nothing left.